I spoke with Dnipro's mayor, Boris Filatov, earlier today with an interpreter. Hi, Mayor. Very good to meet you. Uh, I understand Dnipro continues to experience air raid alerts. If I could start by asking, how are you and how are your fellow residents in that city? Uh, yes, the situation in the city is complicated, but is under full control. Uh, for your information, we are um, from all three sides are uh, surrounded by the Russian troops. That is from the side of the city of Kharkiv, the second that is from pre-Azov territory and from Donbass area. But the Russians did not cross the border of our region yet. So, but the situation is indeed quite complicated. But the complicity of the situation is also because of a lot of a lot of refugees from uh, all these regions. The city is full of refugees. I want to ask about those refugees in, in just one second. But can I ask about uh, how the Russian forces have not yet come into the city or into your region? Are you concerned that they will? No, prognosis. Uh, the Speaking about the forecasting for the situation, nobody knows about it, how it will go on. And if even I knew, I wouldn't say that even to a highly respected Canadian uh, mass media. Understood. Uh, no. Oh. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, so nobody understands how it will go on, uh, they, uh, whether they decide to cut Donbass area and will occupy it completely, or they take a decision and they will go and rush to Zaporizhia and Dnipro. So nobody knows uh, how they will and how they want to do. It is only in the head of Putin and uh, his uh, headquarter. But anyway, I would like to say that for them it will not be an easy work. We are very well prepared and we are enforcing and increasing our local uh, troops and brigades. And, and what is it like? We will kill thousands And we will kill, believe us, thousands of Russians. Let me ask you, what is it like to prepare for that possibility? T tell us a bit about Dnipro, what, what you are doing, as you just mentioned there, to prepare for the possibility. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, please try to understand, we are in war, in real war, and uh, about our possibilities and about our exact preparations, we will not say, we simply cannot. And as uh, the Chinese um, ancient uh, um, uh, one philosopher said soon, that uh, war is a way of tricks. Uh, so, excuse me, I will not tell you the details. Understood. Let me ask you, Mayor, about the refugee situation. Uh, because of the relative safety of uh, Dnipro, uh, how many refugees is your city dealing with? And, and do you have the infrastructure, the ability... Uh, to, to have so many of them there. Uh, for your clear understanding about the situation with refugees, we are so-called transit hub. So the people escaping from the already occupied regions, they are concentrated here in our city. For example, such figure. Three days ago, our city left 187,000 of people only through railway. The people who arrived to our city by private cars simply cannot be even calculated. We are talking about thousands uh, of refugees coming and leaving. For your understanding, once again, Dnipro today is a transport hub for refugees from other regions. And, and what does that mean for you, though? Like what? What is necessary as they, as they uh, are in the transit hub of of your city? And I, I take your point that it's a transit hub. Like what? What do they require? What what needs do they have? So. Uh, in short, to answer your question what they need, they need absolutely everything, starting from the very simple things and uh, let's say they need to be, uh, they need food, they need to take showers, because people left absolutely bombed cities without anything. They don't have any documents, they don't have any money, they very often don't have any 
coats, jackets, or whatever, any clothes. They need absolutely everything. That is a catastrophe. Just believe us. Uh, it's something incredible, and it's real a catastrophe. So, and taking the opportunity, uh, I would like to apply to all our Canadian friends, please help us with what you can, because our refugees, our people need absolutely everything. Uh, and trust us when we say we believe you. Uh, we've seen the images uh, and we understand the need. What are What is your ask, Mayor, of uh, governments like the Canadian government or other governments uh, of Western allies when it comes to uh, not just your city but your country? So, uh, what we need, first of all, and I will repeat it once again and once again, we need weapons, different kinds of weapons. That's very important. The second, uh, that is, of course, no-fly zone over Ukraine. We need anti-air um, uh, protection systems to protect our people, our residents. And what is very important, the legend about uh, unconquerable and uh, very uh, pompous Russian army just became a myth, a fake. There's no army like that. And we will do ourselves. We will kill them. But we need weapon, different kind of weapons. Okay. Thank you very much, Mayor. I, I hope you can stay as safe as possible. And thank you to your interpreter as well. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.